Show starts in one minute. Dog days, hot dog days that is, somehow have a way of turning out to be fun days. The pop and sizzle of the juicy meat seems to say, come and get me, I'm done to a turn. Yep, hungry or not, it's hard to resist the tantalizing aroma and taste appeal of a sizzling hot dog. The nice part of it is, there's one waiting for you now at the refreshment stand. Massey's Pizza, home of the perfect pizza taste, is also home of the original Super Saver Pizza. Massey's uses only the best pure ingredients and toppings, the oldest and finest pizza recipe in Columbus, and then serves perfect pizza at Super Saver prices. Pick up a money-saving Massey's coupon at Super Saver Cinema's eight ticket counters and enjoy the perfect pizza taste for less. Massey's Pizzas have four locations in Westerville, Gahanna, Reynoldsburg, and Whitehall. The perfect pizza taste and Super Saver prices. And now, on with the show. Sorority House Massacre, a slash course in absolute terror. If you're like me, you have always searched for a movie that takes the slasher template of John Carpenter's Halloween, the emotional core of the movie Beaches, and the feel-good party vibes of an episode of Saved by the Bell and combine them all into one. And um, lucky for us, we don't have to dream anymore because that movie exists, and it is Carol Frank's Sorority House Massacre. <laughs> Sorority House Massacre has always been a special favorite of mine in the slasher genre, um, mostly because people have really poo-pooed on this movie for about 30 years. And I think that's because they go in having an expectation about the movie where it doesn't deliver, because I think all of us watch slasher movies for different reasons. Um, one reason could be the great masks that the killers wear, like maybe every slasher should have a great killer in a mask. Um, Sorority House Massacre doesn't have that. Am I crazy? <laughs> Oh God. I think a lot of other people might say that slashers should have a plot. Like a slasher movie should have a plot in it. And um, Sorority House Massacre also doesn't have that. So I think when people go in watching it, they expect these things, they don't get them, so they're like, oh, this movie is no good, I don't want to watch it, it's, it's boring. Um, but I think that's wrong, and in fact, I think Sorority House Massacre is probably one of the coolest slashers about nothing that has ever been made, and I mean that as a very high compliment. So this movie came about because filmmaker Carol Frank was actually a production assistant on a movie called Slumber Party Massacre, which was before Sorority House Massacre. And if you haven't seen Slumber Party Massacre, you need to watch it immediately after watching Sorority House Massacre. So anyway, Carol Frank was working on that movie, which was also produced by Roger Corman. And at the end of it, Roger Corman was happy with her work and so offered her to do her own version of Slumber Party Massacre, which would become Sorority House Massacre. Like Slumber Party Massacre before it, this movie really inverts gender expectations in slasher movies, where you're seeing the whole movie from the perspective of the women in the movie, which was uh, quite rare for movies like this back in the 80s. It's him. That's him! That's the guy from my dream! I really appreciate the fact that this is more of a horror mood piece than anything. It really does feel like you're walking through a dream when watching this movie. Um, and that's not just that the lack of plot that feels that way, it's, it's also the technical qualities of the movie, the way that it's edited and it's photographed. It has a lot of really cool flowing photography. It's really historically important because in the 1980s there were only two other franchises being those being Slumber Party Massacre and Pet Cemetery that were started by being written and directed by women. And I think that this one in particular is kind of fallen by the wayside and people don't really focus on it that much and they should because it's really great. Maybe we are the haunted sorority house after all. And it feels good when you watch it because you know you're supporting Carol Frank's voice. <laughs> so the reason why we're doing this right now is that uh, AGFA, the American Genre Film Archive, is uh, the world's largest genre film archive and distributor, and we are a nonprofit, which means that now, all across the world, because of what we're facing, uh, theaters are closed, which means AGFA is in real danger. Um, our livelihood is just changing and we have to pivot with it. So we're offering these videos as a way to uh, stay happy and positive and healthy and have like a positive outlook while we're all going through this together. Um, but at the same time, we want to get the word out there that we really need your donations and support right now. Um, the AgFit team's livelihood depends on it. So if you could donate, um, the, the URL is right here. Uh, donate to AGFA if you could, we would really, really appreciate that. And if not, just the fact that you're watching this and the hopes that you're having some fun amidst all of this while you are also home and quarantined like we are, um, that makes us feel good too. One, two, three, your way. <laughs>
Sorority House Massacre comes to us from our friends at Shout Factory, who are a theatrical partner of the American Genre Film Archive. So what we're asking you to do now is watch this intro and enjoy it, and then head over to either shoutfactorytv.com or tubi.tv, where you can stream Sorority House Massacre for free. And then when theaters open, which they are gonna do, and we're sticking it out and it's gonna happen, um, you can book this movie for your theater um, through AGFA. So when there is a mass love fest happening for theaters when they reopen again, watch the movie, enjoy it at home, and then book it for your theater and tell your friends about it so that we can make this happen on the big screen for people. If you don't know, understand like the difference between watching it on the big screen and watching it at home, the big difference is that, that you're with 200 people in a theater watching Sorority House Massacre and the electricity and the feeling of fun and the idea that you get to like watch it and then afterwards talk to people about it and interact. That's what the entire genre is based upon, is being able to share our opinions and have fun together. And that's what it's about. We can't have fun together right now. We can't be physically in the same space. So when that does happen, come to AGFA, book the movie, and we'll all be really happy. For your convenience, when leaving the theater, we suggest you use the exits at the front of the auditorium on either side of the screen. This will allow you easier access to your cars.